Hi friends, it's Anna here today and today we're going to be working on the Jack Hoodie by Petite Stitchery. This is a free pattern of a zip up hoodie. I'm super excited about it. We're going to tackle the zipper and I'm going to make it uh, to match my joggers so I'll have a like a lounge set um, to wear around the house. So let's get started. All right, friends, we're going to get started with our pockets. Um, if you're not making the pockets, obviously you can omit this step and move on to the next step. We're going to grab our pockets, our face up here on my mat, and I'm going to grab the pocket facing. I'm going to place it right side down, right on top of my pocket. I know it might be kind of hard to see because it's black on black, but all I'm doing is I'm matching this uh, facing right side to the right side of the pocket right at that raw edge, that curved raw edge. And I'm gonna go ahead and sew that on with a stretch stitch. All right, now that this has been sewn, we're gonna flip the facing to the wrong side and steam. Again, this might be hard to see because I am using a black fabric, but it should be um, all the way to the edges. can see it and then on this side we're gonna go ahead and on the front top stitch that down we're gonna top stitch that facing down now after we top stitch that facing down we're gonna also top stitch the top and the side so I'm gonna just gonna give it a little fold here um, a memory crease so that I can go do that and then I'll memory crease it down and top stitch here at the top and also here at the side because the pocket will be sewn on at the side and the top, but it won't be sewn on obviously at where the facing is because that's where your hand will be in. So like it'll be sewn on here and here to the jacket and this will be your gap where your fa your hand will go in. So this needs to be top, st top stitched first and then the top and the sides. I mean the top and the sides will go top stitched to the actual um, bodice so you will not top stitch the top on the sides yet is what I meant to say for top stitching I am using my cover stitch this is a brother pay setter cover stitch um, that's what I'm using but you can use any kind of stretch stitch on your sewing machine if you do not have a cover stitch all right I have my two front bodices face up here's where my neckline is my sleeve arm size and this is the front of the uh, bodice and this is my right side. I'm gonna grab my pockets and I'm gonna place them right on top, face touching the raw edges. Remember these top and sides will be folded back up where I made that memory crease earlier. So we're gonna fold that down and you can use some uh, hem tape or something like that if you want right there to kind of keep them from moving. Um, it be, it's, makes it a lot easier to top stitch if you have some, uh, and then you're going to pin it and top stitch it down. You're going to top stitch this top and then this side as well, right here. So that's how we're attaching our pocket. Top stitch here and here and do the same for both pockets. Well, no, I do not love interfacing, but um, since we're going to be adding a zipper here to the edge of your bodice, um, interfacing is kind of important so that um, nothing comes uh, off. Like you want to put it on when you're doing zippers or buttons or something like that. So I am going to go ahead and do some fusible interfacing um, on the edge of my bodice gonna be the side where my zipper is going to be attached that's where I'm putting my interfacing now I've got my back piece face up on my mat and here's my shoulder seams and my neck area I'm gonna grab my bodice and I'm going to place my front bodice right sides together here at the shoulders now remember you want where that front piece to be facing in the inside so like where you attach the interfacing that's where they're going to meet up here um, so that's how you're going to sew it up time for sleeves so here as you can see it's my arm side 
I mean, my shoulder seam, this is where I just sewed those two together. Here's where my arm side is. You can see it's kind of like a circle, not circle, but like a shape right here. And here's my neck area. So I'm gonna grab my sleeve. First, before I unfold it, because I cut it on the fold, I'm gonna mark my top. If you didn't mark it already, I marked it, I cut it up a little bit, so it kind of goes whoop, out when, when I cut my fabric out, so I know that that's my center. I'm gonna place that right on my shoulder, right sides together, and then I'll go down one side and then down the other, right sides together, matching that raw edge. Now that our sleeves are sewn up, we're going to sew those sides together to close up our sweater, so our jacket. So we're going to grab here at the arm side. This is the armpit area. We're going to match that up together. And then we're going to go down the sleeve and then down the bodice, right sides together to close those side outer sides. While I'm there, I'm going to also grab my cuffs and face them right sides together here at that raw edge. Remember, the stretch is going this way. So that raw edge right there and get them prepped to attach after we do the, after we sew the sides together. I'm gonna grab my sleeve and pull it out and we're getting there. Um, I love how this is looking. It looks like it's gonna be more of an oversized jacket. I did notice that in the pictures and I was wondering if I should size down, but I didn't. Um, I wanted to give you all the exact look of how it's meant to look. And then um, you can decide for yourself if when you make it, you wanna size it down and make it um, more form fitting or whatever. So I've got my sleeve here. Um, this is my raw edge. I'm gonna mark my half of my sleeve right there. I'm gonna grab one of my cuffs. I'm gonna fold them wrong sides together, matching at those uh, that seam right there. And that's my one, that's like my half. And then um, make sure those raw edges are matching. So then I'm gonna go from that half right there where my uh, uh, seam is to the other side and kind of mark that because that's what's gonna go on the other side. So we're gonna fit that sleeve right into the cuff and we're gonna match that half of the sleeve to the half of the cuff right sides together. And we're gonna sew it on stretching the cuff as we go to fit the sleeve. While we're at the cuffs, we're gonna grab our band. I'm gonna go ahead and, and get that prepped now. It's folded in half right now, so I'm gonna mark where that half is of my band. I'm also going to grab my bodice. This is the bottom of the bodice. This is the back. I'm gonna fold it on the, these are the two side seams. And I'm going to go to the back so I can find my back spot. Mark that. And so where I marked my, my back spot and where I have my back here, I'm going to grab my band and fold it wrong sides together. Long wise, like so. And I'm going to match that half with the half of my bodice here. Then I'm going to go over here on this edge the raw edge is gonna go all the way. You're gonna pull it all the way to the edge of your hoodie here. And then you kind of pull that band and even it out so it fits, like stretch to fit. So I kind of like to do that. You can quarter it and quarter your sweater and stuff like that, and that gives you a very uh, precise, but I think usually I stretching it out like this, um, it works. So that's what I, just doing that on this one. All righty, our hoodie is coming along. I am loving it. I think this is gonna turn out super, super cute. Now, I did not have the correct size um, zipper. So my zipper is quite a bit longer than what I need. 
So I've got two options. I may go to the store and buy a smaller, a shorter zipper. Um, you can go ahead and measure your front and see how long of a zipper you need. It, it called for a smaller zipper. I just don't have it. So it's not like they called for a huge zipper and I have too much. No, it called for a smaller size and I just don't have that smaller size. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to go ahead and pause this. So and go to the store and look for a zipper that will be shorter so that way i can keep this longer zipper or if you don't have that option you can always pull the teeth so i would cut the zipper about an uh an inch and a half or two above where you're going where it stops and then i would pull the teeth off pull the teeth with pliers you can pull them off and then to make a zipper stopper, you're not going to be able to put that back on. Well, mine is plastic, so you won't be able to put it back on. But uh, you could use some thread and just like thread it through so that it's it's got like a lump there so that the zipper won't just fly off. So I'm going to go and find another zipper and then we'll come back and finish this up. Righty, I got a zipper, 24 inch separating zipper, which is what they asked for. So now I can go ahead and attach it. I'm gonna take it apart. That makes it way easier to attach. But first I'm just gonna place it like right on top of my piece. And I know that because this is the way the zipper goes, that this is gonna be on this side and this one's gonna be on this side. So I wanna make sure of that. So that way I don't get confused when I'm sewing it on. I'm gonna grab my zipper and it's just laying uh, up. Right now it's laying up. I'm just gonna flip it over. So flip it over so it's right sides together. I'm gonna start at the bottom. And what I wanna do is either with clips or pins or a chalk or something, I wanna mark my seams. So I'm gonna tape it, I'm gonna pin it here at the bottom. But then I also wanna mark where, I'm gonna pin it where my seams are. So I wanna mark, that way I know where my seam is gonna go so that if my zipper moves as I'm trying to sew it on to the edge of the fabric, I can remember where my seams are supposed to be at. That way it, it's nice and straight. Now my zipper is still a little bit longer than it needs to be. Um, so I might, I'm, I'm gonna have to trim a little bit here at the top, but I'll do that later. Now what you can do, um, and I've done before because zippers can be a little tricky, is to go ahead and baste it down first with a long straight stitch and make sure that it's all, and well, both sides, and make sure that it's all even, zip it up and it looks good, then go back and sew it on with a tighter stitch. So I'm gonna do the same on the other side where I'm just gonna go grab my zipper and flip it over on top. And I'm gonna match it here at the bottom and everywhere. And that's why, like I said, you wanna make sure um, I'm just matching it here at the bottom. You wanna make sure that you line up the seams right here and you wanna, after you attach it, uh, make sure that they line up, like both pockets line up, like both sides. So they line up correctly with each other. You don't wanna have the pocket mismatching. So that's why sometimes, like I said, um, going to your sewing machine and basting it on first, like sewing it with a stretch stitch might be the way to go for this step. It looks like it's gonna match up, but at, so if you see here at the bottom, it does not look like that's gonna match up. I feel like I went too low on this side, so I'm gonna redo it. Just take your time with the zipper. You don't wanna rush it and end up having it not match up. I'm gonna go sew it with my, stri my um, basting stitch, and then I'm gonna turn it and zip it up and see if it looks good, and then I'll sew it correctly. All right, I'm gonna change my foot to a zipper foot. And um, I have white thread in my sewing machine right now, but that's okay because it's only, I'm only doing the basting stitch first and then trying it on and see how it goes. So I'm changing my stitch length to a five. So it's a very long um, stitch. And I'm gonna go ahead and sew my zipper on. I'm gonna leave a little bit of room actually at the top. Well, I guess it doesn't matter, just a basting stitch because I wanna, um, I gotta take off some teeth at the top. I'm not caring about, it's kind of doing a zigzag, I'm not caring about that because again, it's just a basting stitch. When I actually do the real sewing, I'll come real close to my zipper. All 
right, it's basted on, so we're gonna go ahead and try it and see if I failed miserably or if it will work. Look at that. This is why you based. I don't know where I went wrong, but I went definitely wrong even from down here. I mean, it was like uh, right off the gate. So I'm going to have to redo it, but that's okay. I wanted to show you because I basted it on, which means I can just pull my basting stitch right off. And it is such a simple little just pull. And honestly, actually, let me see. I only want to pull one off, whichever looks like it's the it's the um the the reason. I think this one is looking better. It it starts a little bit higher, but uh, it kind of looks good down here. So I'm gonna leave this one on. I'm just gonna tear this one off, and um, match them up and start over. But see, this is why basting is like crucial when it comes to sewing a zipper because look this is super simple i'm just kind of pulling this off and it's kind of hard to do with my nails but it like literally just comes off so let me do that and let me redo this whole thing i'm gonna try something different which i should have done to begin with um just put the zippers together and actually mark my zipper tape instead of just placing them on top close the zipper tape and mark it where are my then that way I'll have exactly where it should be. So here's my one seam right here. Here's my other seam. So I'll know that that is where I need to put that on this side. Right now I'm going to face them down and make sure that they are matching up here. One seam, the other seam. All right, so now it's pinned and that should work. So now I'm going to go ahead and um, and once I attach it, we're going to zip it back up and see if it's good. And then we'll finish it up if it looks good. All right, moment of truth. Let's see how this ends up. And look at that. Pairs up well right there. Pairs up well right there. So that is good. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this off again and now I'm going to go back and sew it I'm gonna change my thread to my black matching thread and I'm gonna sew it straight all the way and then I'm going to flip this over like so and top stitch it close to the zipper so top stitch this edge right here down Okay, so as you can see now, this has been sewn. I sewed it with my black thread. So now I gotta turn it around and top stitch it. Now, as you can see, I made my uh, interfacing like very wide and I'm kind of upset about that right now because when I turn it, when I wear my jacket open, you might be able to see it. So don't make that mistake, make it small. Like they give you the pattern. The pattern comes with a little a thing that you can use for for your interfacing and I didn't use it so I just kind of made my own so I am going to go back and try to pull that interfacing off later um, thankfully this is a uh, French terry so it's kind of washed off this way so if I pull it off it should be fine but don't make the mistake I made so now I'm going to you can pull that basting stitch the different color basting stitch um, it should come out pretty easily so I'll put that off later but then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this over to the underside and top stitch along that um, zipper. So it goes this way. So I'm going to go ahead and top, that, top stitch that on. Then we'll work on our hood and we'll be done. All right, so we are finished with our zipper putting it on and now what we're going to do is we're going to work on our hood I really hate that I did that so I'm gonna try to pull off as much as I can and I think I'll be able to because I haven't washed it so it hasn't really like set in there so I'll be able to pull most of it off 
Um, I'm just like annoyed at myself for doing that. Let me go ahead and pull it while it's coming out nicely. Then we're gonna go ahead and work on our hood. Well, at least that's a little bit better. All right, time for the hood. I'm not going to be adding grommets, but if you are, there is a little mark on the hood where you're gonna put uh, interfacing and add the grommets to. I just don't feel like adding grommets. <laughs> so, and grommets are actually really easy to add, but I just, eh, I'm just omitting them on this one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna place the hood pieces right sides together and sew that crown all the way down. All right, it's time to attach my hood, but as you can see, my zipper hangs out a little bit longer than my hood. Um, so when I go to sew it on, I don't want these teeth to mess up my sewing machine. So what I can do is take the teeth off by pulling them off with some pliers. Oh my gosh, these are not very good pliers, but literally you just have to pull them off. There we go, one came off. I'm just kind of pulling the ones that are right at the where I'm gonna be sewing. Now don't pull your zipper up because then they'll come off and I'm gonna trim the rest of it. So I've got this little bit. Um, now you can go and sew a stitch there, but I'm gonna actually sew my hood on over it so it'll be like a stopper there. My hood is gonna come a little bit after. It's actually I think this side because it's right sides together. My hood will come a little bit after and it will get, once you sew it on, you will get sewn this way, top stitched, so that will be hidden, so my zipper won't fly off. But I wanted to take some off because I, when I sew it on, I don't wanna run over it. I'm gonna take another one off. So if your zipper is too long, you just simply pull the teeth off. Make sure you have good pliers. These ones are not very good. So there it is. I'm going to do the same for the other side. They're not good pliers because they're slippery. They don't have like the uh, the little lines on them, so they slide right off. So that's why it's so hard to get them. All right, once you've taken those off after two and a half hours, <laughs> literally, it, you have to have some pliers that are not, like these ones are just slippery and my husband is not able to help me right now to give uh, so I can use his pliers so I had to use these ones but anyway now we match up the shoulders right uh, doesn't matter just match them up so that you can find your back of your hood I mean your neckline then we're gonna match up open this up we're gonna match up the back of the hood so if you look at it it's like this this is the top this is the bottom the back of that hood to the back of your jacket and now we're going to attach it right sides together as you can see here you have some left over like i mentioned earlier because when we're done sewing it we're going to flip that over and top stitch it that will be your hem allowance here on the side and that will get top stitched down We are basically finished. Now it does say a whole inch. So what I did is I kind of pulled a little bit tighter. So kind of bring it in so that I had a whole inch hanging out here at the end. So now that I've got this overlap here at the end, I'm going to fold it. Oops, I had pinned it down. I'm going to fold that overlap over the seam allowance and then over the zipper like so. And then I'm gonna go top stitch this down. I'm gonna put a pin here at the beginning. And then I'm on um, uh, top stitching, hemming all the way around the hood. Now, if you have a drawstring, you should have your grommets should be right here. And then you would fit fit feed your uh, drawstring all the way around the whole hood encasing it or you can go ahead and sew it up first and then fit it through 
the little grommets and go all the way around and then tie it at the bottom. So it's pretty easy to do drawstrings on the hood. Do the same on this side, fold over the seam allowance and then fold over that zipper. So I'm gonna go top stitch that down and we are done with our hood. And then I'm gonna show you what it looks like on. I'm super excited. I am also top stitching here at the top where my zipper ends or starts or whatever because I want it to, I don't want it to come up. I am also top stitching here at the top of the zipper to close that little gap. All right, friends, we are finished with the Jack hoodie from Petite Stitchery. Um, I think it turned out excellent. I love um, how it fits. I sewed up the size that I fit into and it's a little bit of a baggier oversized look but I think that is really great because you could wear it over something else that you are already wearing or I do like the oversizedness of it. If you didn't want it to be oversized you could definitely size down and I think that that would work real great but I do love it this way. Again I used French Terry and I used um cotton lycra for the pockets and the trimmings. I still have to go remove my basting stitch because you can see it, but as you can see, I've removed most of that facing so you can't really see it very much. The hood fits really nicely. Um, I did not do the grommets, but I think it would have been really great to add the grommets as well and it just zips all the way up. So that's really cool. It's just a really great free pattern and I'm pairing it today with the free yogurt pattern that is also from Petite Stitchery. So um, if you haven't grabbed it, go ahead and grab both these patterns, come back and sew them with me so you can make yourself your own jogging suit to hang around the house and or you know to run errands or do whatever you want to do with the suit. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you enjoy all these free patterns. Um, I just love being able to do these free patterns because it gives you like it helps you start getting into sewing and not have to spend all the money on patterns when you first get started. Um, even after you've been sewing for a while, I mean, I've been sewing for a while and I'm always on the lookout for nice new free patterns. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you haven't so you never miss any of our other tutorials and I hope you have a great rest of your day. See you next time. Bye.